Hello everyone, I welcome you all in my channel Learn Math Easily. In today's video, I am going to do a very important theorem of cyclic group which states that every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. I'll tell you one thing that each and every theorem of cyclic group topic is very important because I have seen most of the topics in university exams. Now, I'll start with theorem number first. But before I proceed, I'll tell you one thing that if you want to understand today's video, then I have uploaded one previous video on what is the meaning of cyclic group and a result based on it. You need to understand that topic. Otherwise, you will not be able to understand today's theorem. So, let's start with today's theorem statement, which is same as this only because I have used this as a headline. Every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. I have used the word ST instead of the complete subgroup. This is not a standard notation as I keep on telling you from your earlier classes only that SD is not a standard notation. I am using it for my own convenience. Instead of writing the whole subgroup again and again, I am just writing ST. So, you have to prove that every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. Let G be a cyclic group. Let G be a cyclic group. If it is a cyclic group, then it must be generated by some element of G. Let A belongs to G be a generator of G. If it is a generator of G, then G can be expressed like this. A cyclic group generated by A. Let H be a subgroup of G. Now here we will prove this proof by taking two cases. First case, let H is equal to E. Means a cyclic group generated by, suppose H is equal to E. It contains only singleton element H. Therefore, H is equal to a singleton set E. Now, it means we can write this as E, E square, E cube, E to the power 4 and so on. This is what? This is nothing but E, 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 E. This is cyclic group generated by E. Therefore, H is equal to a cyclic group generated by E. And hence, is cyclic. Case 2 we have to take when H is not just equal to a singleton set E. Means it contains more than, a, more than identity element. Suppose H is not equal to a singleton set generated by E. Therefore, there exists H belongs to H such that H is not equal to this identity element E. Which implies H belongs to H contained in G. Therefore, H is equal to sum A N for sum N belongs to Z plus. N is not equal to 0. Because if N is equal to 0, then it will be A to the power 0 will be equal to E. So, this is not possible now. Therefore, H is equal to A to the power N. Now, a to the power n belongs to h implies a to the power minus n also belongs to h. Because h is a subgroup of g. Now every element of h will be some power of a. Because here if this is g and this is h, this is g, this is h. So every element of h must be some power of a. Let R be the least positive integer such that A to the power R belongs to H. Now we will prove that. Now we will prove that 
H is equal to a cyclic group generated by A to the power R. Now, first, A to the power R belongs to H. Therefore, every power of A to the power R belongs to H by closure pro property because H is a subgroup of G. Therefore, a cyclic group generated by A to the power R contained in equal to H. Because H is a subgroup of G. We will take this as equation number 1. Conversely, to show H contained in equal to a cyclic group generated by A to the power R. Let X belongs to H implies X belongs to G implies x will be some power of a it will be some power of suppose a m for some for some m belongs to z plus now since r is the least positive integer such that a to the power r belongs to h therefore m must be greater than r therefore by division algorithm There exists lambda mu belongs to z plus such that m is equal to lambda r plus mu where mu is equal to 0 less than equal to mu less than r. Such kind of thing is possible because if m is less than r so m we can write here r will be writing here lambda there is some expression here and here it is mu the remainder. So, by division algorithm, we all know very well, this is dividend is equal to divisor into question plus remainder. So, take this expression as power of A. So, we will get A to the power M is equal to A to the power lambda R plus mu. This is nothing but X. A to the power M is nothing but X. See here. So, X is equal to A to the power R into lambda into a to the power mu. Now, a to the power mu is equal to x into a to the power r minus lambda. Now, see here, x belongs to h. a to the power r belongs to h. Therefore, any power to the power a to the power r belongs to h by closure property because h is a subgroup of g. Therefore, its negative power also belongs to h. Therefore, now this belongs to h, this belongs to h. So, their product will also belongs to h. Therefore, x into a to the power r minus lambda belongs to h. Therefore, a to the power mu belongs to h. Therefore, a to the power r uh, a mu belongs to H, a contradiction because mu is less than R and R is the least positive integer such that A to the power R belongs to H. Therefore, mu must be equal to 0. Therefore, you have M is equal to lambda R. Therefore, therefore, a to the power m is equal to a to the power lambda r which is equal to a to the power r to the power lambda belongs to a cyclic group generated by a to the power r. This is nothing but x. Therefore, x belongs to a cyclic group generated by a to the power r. Since x was arbitrary, therefore, every element of H is an element of cyclic group generated by A to the power R. Therefore, H contained in equal to a cyclic group generated by A to the power R. Therefore, H is equal to a cyclic group generated by A to the power R. This is equation number 2 from 1 and 2. We get this equation. 
Now, H is a cyclic group generated by A to the power R and H was any arbitrary subgroup of G. Therefore, every subgroup of G is a cyclic group. So, we came to a conclusion that subgroup of every cyclic group is a cyclic group. This is a very very important theorem. From next video onwards, we will do one by one each and every theorem which is based on the topic of cyclic group. If you like this video, please don't forget to press the like button. And if you want to watch such kind of videos in the future of higher mathematics or videos of BSc and MSc mathematics, then don't forget to subscribe for my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.